Five minutes. Standard. Let's try C4. English time. English, but my opponent is pretty much saying, you know what, we're going to go into Queen's Gambit declined. Accepted. Bononi. C5, D5. Okay. An invitation for maybe a Nimzo. Hmm. Let's go with this. I don't want to commit my knight just yet. Get my bishop on g3. Okay, now what are we going to have here? Just d5, grab some space. Alright, I'm going to look for eventually getting my pawn all the way up here. That's going to be my plan. Bishop here. Knight here. And I wonder if I should go knight here. So this is interesting. Uh, my opponent is ready to take on d5, and after the recapture, has this advance. But I think I could somehow be annoying with getting my bishop here, and then maybe I could be doing a push, or maybe not. Let me let me just let me do this move. I'm anticipating just this structural change of e d c d, and then uh, this is. This is the normal reaction, a4, to prevent the, the queenside expansion. So, knight c3, bishop g2, of course. I'm not sure where I want to go with my king knight. f3, or do I want to first um, play my pawn up to e4? Maybe, maybe I could do something like f4. This seems very odd. I could play here for one thing with some tempo on the queen. I think she's just uh, misplaced. I don't understand the queen's... Um, I don't understand that decision to play the queen to c7. Seems like she's just asking for some trouble. Like one thing I think I could maybe be considering is just the recapturing on this square with the knight and then recapturing with the queen. Hmm. I think my queen would eventually get kicked away with bishop to e6. I'm not so sure I accomplished much, but maybe I have something with bishop g5, and then if there's a capture, maybe I could take the knight and then recapture on d5, and it's much more effective because the knight is there with tempo, and it's pretty much there to stay. I better get on this diagonal quickly. So what's, what's happening here? I have a space advantage. As soon as I played that d5 move, I have established that. So... I'm not so inclined to be trading pieces since I have more freedom to move about. Bishop f4 seems like it's not too far away from happening here. I'm assuming that, oh, okay. What's this knight going to do? Right now he's paralyzed. And maybe a better question is, what does my opponent do if I play f4? I think f4 means that my opponent needs to play e5 and then I could play f5 and grab even more space and I think I'm controlling the whole position in the center space advantage the queen side and the king side after f4 if my opponent doesn't make this move I'm just gonna steamroll I'm be gaining tempos maybe forks further pushes hitting the queen the bishop so i'm pretty sure f4 is the correct move here and after e5 i play f5 and my opponent is really struggling to find squares for pieces so is there something better such as knight f3 takes and then this advance oh there might be something to that i think there is maybe knight here keep this tension for just a moment if captures then I push bishop takes queen e2 pin it could be defended with d6 but then I recapture and then I'm winning I think I'm going to develop I think this works 
If e takes f, I have e5. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I do what exactly? You know, I think I actually want to keep this tension. I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm. Gonna, I'm going to keep this tension. And now I'm going to be even faster to getting this e5 advance in. So I'm going to keep my opponent guessing. I don't want to commit just yet. I think this is this is a situation where keeping the tension is going to be more beneficial to me. I know that my opponent can't take me, but my opponent, I have to, they have to keep guessing. Am I going to take or am I going to push forward? I'm not showing my hand. And because of that, they have to be, pre be prepared for two different pawn structures. One that's completely closed with f5 and then one where I'm just s smashing everything open. And I think the queen maybe even runs the risk of getting trapped. I could consider just capturing very soon a couple times and then following up with bishop f4 and then pushing this knight around. This is this is a difficult, very, very difficult position for black. Okay, that is one move that I did not consider. I'm very tempted to just play here and try and squeeze black. But this seems very appealing as well to just open the position up, get the bishop pair, get my bishop on f4, Kick this knight away. I'm going to go with that. Let's go with this. Bishop f4 to follow. My opponent not going to take? Okay. Queen has to drop back. Now I have this advance. Where's that knight going to go? just want to complete my development. e5, kick the knight away first. And then castle. A minute 40 to a minute 30. Get this knight away. If he goes here, he gets trapped. No, he doesn't. He could go here next. Is he really bothering me? Let's just get him out of there. Let's get him out of there. Maybe I should do this. This is... Oh, what's going on with that? My opponent didn't react to the threat. They're just getting ahead of themselves. Okay, this is... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm getting... My opponent's getting a piece back. Ugh. Yeah, it's going to get hit. Okay, well, let's go with this. Can I get that pawn back? Ah, oh, that was so bad. Okay, this is still good, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's still good. I want to take that knight out and then just take this pawn. But I was up a piece. I gave the piece right back. <laughs> They're giving me a piece right back. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Now everything is falling. What is going on here? Okay, let's just lock everything up. This is going to be a good home for my bishop. I have my rook here to defend the second. It's easy to go into pre-move mode here. Everything is defended. The knight jumps in here, and we look to just push the pawn to d8. Nothing to do. 25 seconds. With tempo, the knight comes here. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. take this pawn. The king is constrained. Rook to d2. Push. Let's just stop rook here stuff. Alright, let's just sneak over here. And then control d8. That should do it. No time either. No stalemate. Pawn push followed by rook on the back rank. And that'd be it. All right, no time. Good game. That was weird. Very weird. Let's. Oh, I was ready to just close out of that. Let's go back. Flip this board. What's the story here, from your perspective? Benoni. I guess you could still play a6 here, but I'm a little worried after queen c7. And then even more worried after... The bishop decides to go on this this diagonal. I don't know that this is uh, 
the best place for it. In fact, in the in the Benoni, this bishop is the one, at least one of the pieces that uh, struggles to do something, but turn out to be much worse because this is this is a big trouble, very big trouble. Can't do that. Can't obstruct your central pawn. I'm pretty sure you have to go forward with exchanging right here. I think a6 is still fine, but after a4, I think you do best to just capture, after I recapture, to go forward with the more standard stuff such as d6 um, with the fiend cuttering of the king, getting a rook on the e-file, getting your bishop maybe to g4 and f5. He's expendable. If you could give him up for a knight, that's often still a good thing in this uh, semi-closed position with uh, knight d7 to maybe e5 to follow. Ideally, you'd like to get in b5, but that's that's going to take some work. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking just take right here, just some standard stuff out of this opening. e takes d, c takes d. With d6, g6, bishop d7, castle, rook e8, bishop f5, g4 with connecting your knights. That's really my main suggestion because after after this, it's just too much. I have too much space, too many good decisions, too many good options. So, and I, I shouldn't have given back the piece there, <laughs> of course. What should I have done here? Uh, I could have just not taken here. Or I guess I could take with the bishop and then back up if the rook comes over here. Either way, it's, it's just uh, good for white and nearly in pretty much every variation so that's my suggestion out of the gates out of the opening there but the decisions uh, with the pawns and the captures and when if if you're the side who's playing as white keep in mind the the benefits of having this tension maintained are you gonna push am I gonna push am I gonna capture keep your opponent guessing alrighty uh, good game let me close out